They call me a butt plug. Yep, you're a butt plug. We out. Fuck your opinion. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you guys with a brand new video. Finally be talking about this Palace and Polo collaboration. You guys have been hitting my comment section hard just begging me to talk about this collab. You already know we on our Fuck Palace shit 2018 ever since they blocked me on Instagram. Uh, me and Palace got some beef. Unfortunately, I actually wanted to open up a package I had from Palace for this video because your boy did actually cop one of those puffa jackets in the orange colorway um, from their most recent drop. Shout out to my that helped me out with acquiring that item. Pokeball, I'm talking to you. Shout out the Discord one time. But um, we're gonna be talking about this collaboration. Retails, resales, what I think of these items. Is this a good collaboration? Is it a bad collaboration? I mean, we know Palace does a lot of shitty collabs, but is this one of them? We're gonna find out in this video. And then afterwards, we're also gonna talk about this Chris Cunningham uh, Supreme collaboration that was announced officially today. We got a whole lot of Chihuahua shit to talk about. You guys will understand in a bit. Let's get in this video. I hope you all enjoy. Smash like maybe if you do like I don't know so we are on this hype beast article because they actually laid it out in a way I really enjoyed um, for talking about all these items individually there's a lot of really cool colorways with this collaboration one thing I do love about the collab is their use of colors these are very bright and vibrant items um, we're gonna start off with this rugby which is obviously exactly what I'm talking about we got colors and stripe patterns all over this thing that's a very 90s thing to do Tommy Hilfiger used to be the king of doing these random stripe patterns and stuff there is a lot of just absolutely fun fire vintage Tommy jackets that look somewhat similar to this. This is a new style for polo though that I've never seen. I'm a huge fan of this rugby. It's one of my favorite items of the drop. For some of you, this might be super extravagant out there, just loud, obnoxious. But for me, you know, like we stripe boys, I love my stripes. So we got like five different flavors of stripes on this thing. I'm a huge fan. We got vertical, we got horizontal, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. We got so many goddamn stripes on this thing. I'm like just overjoyed with pleasure. I'm not copping this shit though. It's gonna be like, I'd say 150 to 200 dollars. I'm gonna give you guys like rough price estimates, but I don't know exact price ranges yet. We have not gotten the official prices. Next up, we have this very strange button up like coach jacket, or I can't tell if it's like a suit jacket. It looks more so like a suit jacket, but I mean, I don't know shit. So who knows? This is like not wearable at all, honestly. It looks like it's silk also. So it's like the most extra piece ever. If you're the type to wear silk pajama button ups with horses on it, then like, I mean, that's this is for you then. <laughs> But for me, I'm so cool off this. Like, it's just not for me. It's a classic kind of polo design, I guess you could say. But um, on like silk, I don't know if I like that choice. I was really not a fan of that use of that material. Uh, so let's keep going. We also got these button ups, which are super clean. Like these are so fire. Um, one thing I do love about this collab is the items that aren't super vibrant are just super fire. Like they are clean as hell. I gotta be real. Um, the stitching all over this thing makes it a very high quality piece in my opinion. Um, I just like little stitching patterns like that. It just, it looks nice to me it looks very clean but also gives some character to the shirt uh, it looks like we have a little yellow polo and palace logo meshed together every single logo they did was this and I'm not that into this logo to be honest like um, I feel like there's something maybe cooler they could have done I don't really know what would have been cooler but I'm not super crazy about this design they used on everything it's okay I guess uh, this is fire I actually really like this as well this is a super polo type shirt to do with just um, all these weird plaid patterns I said the stripes thing is more of a Tommy thing this is a hundred percent like the polo thing um, to do. I love this, reminds me of some needle shit. Fire as hell, I absolutely would cop this if I could afford retail, which I can't, so let's keep going. I don't wanna talk about it. Next up, we got these just absolutely fire little cars all over this shit. I don't know what type of car that is, so feel free to roast me in the comments, my car, like auto boys, whatever. Um, super sick though, super, super sick item. I love the embroidery. I'm guessing this is embroidered. If it's not, that's an absolute crime to humanity, um, but there's no way they didn't embroider this. So original, I absolutely love this design, bro. This was such a cool piece and one of like the actual items from this collab I looked at and was like damn all right they definitely like met the standard with this one a lot of these other items though I do think they dropped the ball and again retail is going to be so much damn money if you buy this you better like it because I don't know this could be an item that resells just because this car design I know is very popular with palace but I don't think these will actually resell for very much money maybe the pants will this yellow design is kind of fire as well it really helps the cars to pop a lot more so gas I actually really like this design very creative nothing I expected at all. Next up might be the highlight item of the entire collaboration. It's the 
only item I can actually tell you what retail is on, 100% confirmed. Um, basically, there was like some accidental like launch, I guess, on the Polo website. Some people were able to check out, some people like, I guess, were able to get some items from this collab early. This was retailing at $500, so if you got the check to drop, then I guess this is the item for you to go for. This is a similar Polo Bear, little item they have from Ralph Lauren for 400 retail. This one's supposed to be 500, I believe, so that's a whole lot of bread for just like a fucking bear doing a little kickflip. It's probably not even doing a kickflip. I'm probably like tripping. You guys are gonna roast me, but fuck it, bro. We out here doing it super sick. Again, this was something I didn't expect. I probably should have expected there to be some polo bear item, but I didn't think it'd be a little homie like hitting the kickflip, tray flip, some type shit flip uh, with the palace little P on his suit. That is a fire ass photo, you guys. You cannot front. This is a clean ass item. They killed it on this. Now this is the kind of stuff that I really did expect from this collab, sort of like Harrington jackets with just very basic um, patterns and logos. I absolutely hate this jacket. I do love Harrington jackets from Polo. Um, that's such a vibe. Like I used to rock so much damn Polo back in the day. You guys don't understand. I used to be young Polo Tommy boy out in the cut, but now I guess I'm like little Supreme bitch tard now. This is a kind, no, this is not it. Let's keep going. This is really not it. I don't even want to talk about that this one's clean like I actually like this colorway um, I've always really liked blue green plaids I just spit a little bit that's how much I like this fucking plaid colorway um, super fire I actually really like this jacket I think the other two are ugly as hell this is another one of my favorite items from this drop I believe this is corduroy um, we got this just fat ass puffy corduroy jacket so cool for those that have been uninitiated corduroy is the new vibe of 2019 so hurry up and go grab one of these jackets so you can join this wave because I've been just rocking with the corduroy recently I absolutely love this jacket I love like the different use of material um, the palace logo actually pops on this really cleanly I used to have a polo zip-up jacket and it was one of my favorite jackets I had it was a puffer jacket just like this same color um, yellow logo as well like this is almost a classic for me I almost want to go get this for nostalgic purposes but fuck that retail bro hell no miss me with that super clean jacket though if you go cop this I do not blame you so fire the brown is also gorgeous color Away. I really wish they would switch up these palace logos. Like an orange palace logo on one item wouldn't kill you. Just using any other color than yellow wouldn't kill you. This is horrendous. I hate this hat. Um, you have to be like a certain kind of person to be able to rock a hat like this, but I am not that person at all. Uh, so I'm not even going to talk about it. This one still I don't really like. These are going to be like $50 to $100 too, probably super expensive. Jeez, they really are on this corduroy vibe. This is not it, unfortunately. Like of all the times to use a different color for the logo, they choose this hat. This was not the one. Um, I really don't like that neon color on this. Uh, this is really ugly. I do somewhat wish they'd use this color polo uh, pony on some other items because this is not the one yet again. All of these hats are bad except for this one. This is a clean ass hat. Um, the other two are horrible, but this hat is fire. Uh, so let's keep going. I'm loving all this corduroy. This one's also pretty fire. This is my favorite item of the drop. As you guys can see, we got the little like bear club back here, I guess. I don't know what the fuck this is, but I just like these bears a lot. I already have a polo bear right here. Now it's time to get my palace bear. I got two FTP bears. I'm securing that supreme bear. You best know it. So we're going to be quadrupled up with the bear game once we acquire this. I am so excited. I absolutely love the polo bear. That's just like an essential classic vintage iconic item. With the palace P sweater, it's official. Like this is a cosign. If there was a triferg on the back of this, bro, like I would lose my mind. That would be such an insanely hard, like just, oh my God, bro. That shit would go way too crazy. Um, if you guys don't know what the P Flocka design is, it's a little P on the front with a triferg on the back. I doubt they do it to us with that. If they did though, oh my God. Or if they put even like little trifergs on it's like, feet or some shit that would have been cool i don't know bro i just want to see trifergs fuck it i know i'm that kind of person let's keep going this bag is ugly as hell like i do like the weird usage of different plaids but not on this shit that's ugly as hell if they'd actually made this bear plaid that might have been kind of fire i don't fucking know um these are like maybe the worst item of the whole drop this is so down palace's path to make some loafer shoes they're just super extravagant loud they have branding they're just the colors that are should not ever go together this shit is way too much fam if you buy these you are the most extra person in the universe and you crave the attention of everyone in every room you go into because these are just so glaring and like just horrible bro you have to be on some such big dick energy to go and rock these in public like I don't even want to know what it's like to have that kind of fucking mentality that you can actually pull these off because 
Like, I don't even know if my man fucking Ralph Lauren himself could rock these and still not look like a goofy. These are ugly as fuck, bro. Like, I'm sorry. These are so trash. If you thought these were a vibe or some shit, like, you're forcing it because these are not it at all, bro. These are so ugly. I don't know why I'm having to bash on these so hard, but, like, everything about these shoes I just fucking hate. This is, like, what I expected from this Palace collab, to be honest. Like, I really didn't have high expectations. I expected some weird out there shit or some super boring shit. I guess we kind of got that, but the worst end of this collab was definitely these fucking shoes bro um these ones are clean i suppose i still don't even like them that much though uh, i just think they're kind of i don't know like palace logo on one foot and then a fucking polo logo on the other just sounds stupid to me i kind of want some symmetry with my shoes at the same time um i'm over those nope these are ugly as well like these are kind of funny i like them more in the button-up shirt but still these are a no um these are ugly ugly as hell decent like all right these are fire again we got these little race cars these shits is so gas but i'm trying to kind of hurry us up along here now that this video is somewhat over i guess we're gonna go talk about supreme in a second so don't leave me uh we gotta go through these t-shirts real quick boring 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 all right all right we're done that's how we finish off the video with palace so we're done talking about this collab um don't go for this for resale i would say like and let uh, i don't know bro i don't even know what to tell you guys about resale for this the little bear doing the kickflip and i'd say these car items are some of the best resellable items from this drop um but i don't even know if i'd recommend it because like i said retail is gonna be so fucking much money for this shit you already know palace and polo finna get their check-in let's go really quickly check in on this supreme chris cunningham collab um this shit is goofy bro like i said something earlier was goofy this is goofy this literally looks like a photo you would take by accident like on your phone in the middle of the night with flash on and then you just fucking see your dog just like appear in the darkness in front of you that is what this photo reminds me of i can see this picture of this dog on twitter being some like stupid ass joke or some shit um i can't believe they put this on a supreme shirt so funny uh i actually really like this neon colorway that's kind of fire they haven't done that color in so long it's kind of a bummer i like it um but i would not cop this for resale i don't think like it's kind of funny for real uh i think it's a like, funny ass shirt but i would not buy this for resale i don't even know if i'm gonna cop one of these i usually try to go buy a t-shirt when they drop them but these are just no nah, i don't even know what to say about these bro they're so weird i don't even know what the fuck is going on in this photo right now like what is even happening bro what the hell this is bots eating on supreme or some shit just like eating the soul of supreme users that try to go manual i don't know um, these shirts are so bizarre, bro. I don't know what to say. This fucking chihuahua on a hoodie. Like, imagine buying this just to keep it. Like, I cannot imagine people liking this collab. If they do, I'm a dumbass. After Mike Kelly, I don't trust anything with these Supreme collabs. Because when I like it, you guys seem to still hate it. My sleeper, like, low-key item that I kind of rock with this week are these teal little corduroy pants. I actually rock with these. They are a vibe. I've said, like, 50 items in this video are a vibe, I think. But these are the real vibe of the video. Because they are corduroy official. We got the corduroy boys in the house. But they also got a little Gonz logo. And I really like the teal. I might buy a pair. I don't know. My computer just died. So it's time to end this video. It's been your boy, Boone. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed i love you all i'll see you in the next video live cop tomorrow get ready we're finna take that l i'm gonna put the l in live cop you guys know how it is already um it's been your boy boone i'm out i'll see you guys tomorrow peace